The United States, which was the first country to fetch its citizens from the cruise liner, warns other governments that passengers being released will pose an ongoing risk of further spreading the virus. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control says they will themselves impose immediate travel restrictions on the ship's passengers and crew. Airlines are still struggling to recover even after the travel ban to and from Hong Kong and Macau have already been lifted. Gerard de la Peña has the story. After the partial lifting of the travel ban to and from Hong Kong and Macau, passengers can now be seen lining up at the check-in counters of Hong Kong-bound carriers. But before overseas Filipino workers, students and permanent residents can head back to the two destinations, they must first sign a declaration stating that they are aware of the risk of contracting COVID-19. That's why Arlene, who has been working in Hong Kong for the past 24 years, booked a ticket right away and went to the airport early. She was supposed to be in Hong Kong on February 4. But there's still a problem. To date, there are only three flights bound for Hong Kong while there are still no direct flights to Macau. Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific and Air Asia are still unable to mount flights to these areas. The foreign carriers, uh, sila pa lang din muna ang uh, nagsisilbe na tumatawid sa ating mga pasahero, both from uh, Hong Kong and Macau. Manila International Airport Authority General Manager Edmond Real thinks the airlines have already taken small steps toward recovery. Every time na maglilipad ho sila sa China, Hong Kong at, uh, at Macau, ay definitely pagbalik dito, iko-quarantine sila ng 40 days. So as we go on, siyempre yung resources ng crew, mababawasan po. The MIAA notes, since the imposition of a travel ban to Hong Kong, Macau, and China on January 25, the number of outbound passengers dropped by 16% or about 300,000 passengers. Domestic passengers also dropped by 3%. The Civil Aeronautics Board on Thursday will decide on the next steps that they have to take. During the hearing of the House Committee on Transportation, Air Carriers Association of the Philippines bared about 28 flights are being cancelled every week due to the COVID-19 scare. This amounts to almost 2,000 flights from February to March or $10 billion in potential losses. For News 5, Gerard De La Peña, we are One News. Chinese authorities say they have approved the use and distribution of what they are confident would be the first anti-COVID-19 drug named Favilaber. In the Philippines, the Department of Health has been quick to manage expectations. Local health officials say the drug will need strict testing from the Food and Drug Administration as well as from the World Health Organization. The drug was developed by Zhejiang Hisun Pharmaceutical Firm in China. Once the health department secures all necessary clearances, only then will it be allowed to be distributed in the Philippines. Lahat po ng gamot na ipapasok sa ating bansa para gamitin ang ating mga kababayan dapat dumaan sa regulatory processes natin. Until we can have those regulatory clearances ay hindi pa po natin masasabi kung this drug can be used here in the Philippines or not.